In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a sensitivity analysis as well as a scenario analysis. Uh, as you can see, I have my spreadsheet up right now. Um, it's the same that we've been working on for you know the last couple weeks, except I highlighted some numbers for us. Right, the, the numbers that I highlighted are actually all formulas, so we know that we're not even going to touch these boxes. They're off limits to um, when I, I make a change because it's already being calculated from some other uh, cell. Okay. So um, obviously the depreciation per year, that's a formula. And then these units sold are also a formula because if I change this percent change in sales, um, those are going to either go up or down based on what we have here in units sold. Uh, we can always change our price, we can change our variable cost, we can change our fixed cost. However, revenues, variable costs, and these this fixed cost right here, these are all um, formulas because we're going to take them from here. Obviously the fixed costs are just being carried down, but that's still considered a formula for this uh, exercise. EBITDA is obviously just those all subtracted. Um, and we just keep rolling down more formulas. And as you can see, the rest of the spreadsheet is just all formulas. So when we change something up top, everything else is going to change on its own. So it doesn't, you know, you're not doing any hard math yourself. Uh, and it just kind of makes your life easier. So we definitely want to make sure you have the formulas in the right places. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. Um, for class, you were supposed to do three sensitivity analysis. Um, one was likely, one was best, and one was worst. And then you were given four scenarios to see what would happen with your, NP, uh, your NPV, your PI, and your IRR. So um, let's just do this all in one workbook. Um, see how in the bottom here it's called sheet one. I'm actually going to call this likely because this is um, the percent change of sales is 100%, so I know that's likely. Okay, and then you can see that right here. And we're going to copy um, this uh, analysis into uh, six more um, tabs or sheets. Okay, so all I do is I go up to the top in between A1 here. There's this little blue thing. Click that; it highlights everything. And you can either hit Control C or you can right click and hit Copy. Okay, and get the same thing. Go down to shoot sheet two, and make sure you're in cell A1, and just paste that. So either right click and hit paste, or just hit paste up here, or you can hit Control V. Doesn't matter. And there it goes. Paste everything. Okay, and I'm gonna call this our worst. And then I'm gonna go into sheet three, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Paste it again. I'm gonna call this best. I'm gonna hit this. Next to the best, there's this little sheet thing with a looks like a little sun on it. Hit that and paste again. And we're going to call this new sheet um, scenario one. Hit the sheet thing again. Paste. Call it scenario two. Okay, hit the sheet thing again. Paste. Scenario three. One last time paste again. So now we all we have each one in um, one single workbook. So that's very nice and easy for us as well to grade. So let's go back to likely. Okay. So I, I said before that I know this is the likely one because we're assuming that percent change in sales is 100%. There is no change. Okay. Um, and let's just go down to our NPV to take a look at that. We have a positive NPV of 4.379 million. Right? Um, and we're going to kind of see how that differs between worst and best case scenarios. So I'm going to click on the worst case and we're going to play with this for a second. I know right away I'm going to be changing this percent change in sales. We told you that your sales were going to go down 20%. So if I expect my sales to go down 20%, I know that the volume would be 80% of what the unit sold in the likely case. Okay, So I put 80% in. And look, my units sold actually changed, right? See how they changed from 800 down to 640? So 640 is 80% of that um, 800. Um, 880,000 is 80% of 1.1 million, and so on and so forth. And that does the, I mean, that's that's all you have to do for this, this case, this sensitivity. So let's scroll down. And as you can see, our MPV is now negative. So we went from a positive 4.379 million to a negative 460,000. So you can really see how these scenarios, or these sensitivities, uh, how, how they can really play on the numbers. Okay, now let's go to the best. And I know for a fact that when I change this to 120%, because we're increasing, we're saying we're projecting sales to be 20% better than the likely case, 
okay? I know that that's going to give me a higher NPV than that 4.379. And I can scroll down and you'll see that. Okay, and you can see that it's now 9.218 million. Okay, so now you have your sensitivity analysis all done. That's how easy this can be. So let's go to scenario one. And I told you that or each scenario is different for each one of your companies, but let's uh, say, for example, scenario one is your my initial outlay is going to go down to 18 million because I'm at 24 right now. So I'm going to put it at 18 million. Okay, and everything else is going to change. Um, I know that my CFFO is going to change because we have um, a de change in depreciation, right? So let me show you that again. I changed it, and uh, this is the one previous. So keep an eye on these numbers this th where it says 3.192 and so on and so forth. When I go back to put it to 18 million, look what my numbers do. They changed. And I knew that was going to happen because of the depreciation expense. I also knew that it was going to change in my gross fixed assets section. Okay, because obviously this was 24 before, and let's see what it was uh, before in this one. It was 9.36 million in in uh, this box here. So obviously I knew it was going to change there, and it's also going to change my NPV. My NPV is now 8.766 million. Okay, and that's all you had to do for that scenario. Scenario two, I'm saying uh, my cost of capital is going to go to 10%. So I'm just going to change that, and that's just going to change my bottom line. It's going to reduce my NPV, which it does. From my original likely is 4.379, now it's 883,366. Because uh, I knew that that was going to change the present value of my cash flows, because that's what I'm discounted from. So when your cost of capital goes up, your PVs are going to go down. There you go, that's scenario two. Scenario three for me was my variable costs were going to increase each year by three dollars okay so I'm just going to go in here and change each one of these by three dollars so 14 is obviously 17 now that 15 is 18 now 16 goes 19 16 is obviously 19 then last year 16 and 19 so my cost went up right and so that means I know my CFFO is going to be a lot less so that means my NPV is going to be driven down as well and look, my MPV is now negative. Okay, so like, make sense of the numbers. It's it's really easy to do when costs are going up. You know, that you're not going to be getting as much money from this um, activity. So obviously, your MPV should be less. Okay, so that's perfect. All right, scenario four, the last one. My price is actually going to be going down two dollars. So I'm going to put price to 19, 21, 24, 24, and 24. And just kind of like when variable costs were going up, my price is not being driven down. I know I'm going to get the same effect, right? My NPV is going to be going down. So I had to decrease my price. And that's what happened. Now my project is still negative from my likely case. So I have an NPV of negative 1.046 million. And uh, I knew that was going to happen because, um, first off, my margins aren't as good as they were in the likely case. And um, you saw what happened with the variable costs going up by $3. I figured the same thing would probably be happening when my costs were going down, or my price was going down by two dollars. So this is sensitivity analysis and scenario analysis, and you can see how easy it is to have it all in one workbook, and you just keep copying and pasting all the way across uh, when you know how many scenarios you have and how many um, sensitivity analysis you have to do as well. And it also makes our life easier for grading. So please do it this way. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.